Yo, 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 everybody, it's your girl, Sophia, Sophie Sov, back here on Sophia's Football Talk to do another ranking of football kits. This time it's going to be um, certain and a couple of European clubs, not home kit, not away kit, but third kit. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you give this video here a big thumbs up. And of course, also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We are on the road to 3K subscribers. So let's make that happen, shall we? Lego. Let's start off with Arsenal. What can I say with Arsenal's kit? I can hold you. I have to keep it 100 bueno. We need to put this in class. Oh, I feel like I'm a little bit jealous because I kind of wanted this to be a colorway that Man United could do. If this was Man United's kit, I would be like, yeah, I'm going to get my hands onto this. I really want to. Oh my God, it's so annoying that it's Arsenal. I'm not going to lie, because it's a beautiful kit. I, 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 I can't sit there and say it isn't. If you checked out the away ranking kit that I did, I believe last week or so, then, you know, you would, spoiler alert to those of you who haven't checked that out, I did say that the away kit for Arsenal was horrendous garbage, but the third kit, it's beautiful. There's no bias here. It's beautiful. Next up, we have Chelsea. I mean, Chelsea, they still haven't really sorted out the whole uh, sponsor thing logo on the kits. We still don't really know. It won't be Trivago, but it looks to be that it's going to be like this mint green, blue-ish type color. If we just focus on that, I would say that's nice. As long as they're not going to have that damn number three type sponsor logo on the shirt then i don't really see an issue with this so in my opinion i probably would put this on a decent i think it's nice i think it's nice next though we have liverpool um i love the purple but there's something with nike or nike as we say it here in norway if you guys seen the video that I did ranking all of the women's World Cup kits, then a lot of kits from Nike has been like the damn pointy thingy here. That hurts me. And with me that has a slight OCD issues, it doesn't, it, it actually really, really pains me to see. I would have probably put this kit in good, but because of that, I to put it in man i'm so i just i can't do it i physically cannot do it either way we move on to man city man city's third kit that's kind of like a lightning type vibe i mean this doesn't really excite me that much if i'm going to be very honest it just looks right you know i thought their away could look a little bit better but their home kit looks actually very fresh but this one is just yeah just meh. Just meh. And then we move on to my club, Manchester United. We got, it's like white. A um, little bit of a, like a creamy type of white with um, more of a lighter type stripes up here. I don't have that turkey. I mean, this one that I'm wearing here is last season's turkey, which, you know, some people aren't really too fond of like a really bright neon greenish. I mean, I love green, so you know that that I digress. Either way, I do think this is really nice. I do want to get my hands on this kit for sure, which I will be doing. I just I kind of like waiting for a sale, or maybe I can wish this for like a birthday gift from, from my dad or something. We might do that. Either way, I do like it. It's very different though, with it's not the traditional manchester united badge is basically like the devil logo you know the, the the promo video with roy Keane saying like you're born into this and you know hey he was saying some mad stuff and if you ain't if you religious then who does not this might not be for you auntie either way i like this so i i have to put this class i think it's really really nice and i was saying that just because it's a 
it's by my favorite club. I'm not, hey, we're going to keep it 100. Either way, I like it. Then we're moving on to Newcastle. Um, Kind of like a bluish, lots of different patterns with like a yellow, greenish, neony, cella type of sponsor. Um, I think this looks decent. I'm, I'm not going to put in like the good car category, um, but decent. That still is. Right. It's just not um, that I'm blown away, but it's decent. It's decent. With Spurs, I'm literally, as I'm filming this, I'm actually watching Spurs um, Carabao Cup game between Fulham and they. I'm pretty sure this is the first time they're wearing this kit, but it's all gray. Um, I, I actually, you know, it's it's not the most like a, a kit that does a lot, but I like the gray. And I don't know, there's something with this tone of a gray that I really do like. I, 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 you know, I don't know what it is, but lately I've been wearing a lot of gray in general and uh if this is, was if this let's just say if this was something man and i would have come out with i probably would have been like okay this is kind of vibe the only thing though once again it's the damn pointy things if without that it would have worked but it is maybe a little bit subtle compared to the liverpool one as the liverpool one is like full on black here or really dark purplish um i but I still can't do with the with the point in this. Meh. I have to be honest. Uh, moving away from the Prem, we have um, Bayern Munich with their third kit, which is kind of like a white, off-white, but it has like rose embroidery-ish here, which I really like. If this goes on sale, I might need to get my hands on this as well. I hey. I think Bayern Munich has won this definitely one of the clubs that had like the best kits. All of them that I've seen so far has been top tier. I've been, you know, if you've seen the other videos, I've I've been rating the other ones as well. I want to put this in class. It looks really nice. I have to. Next week, uh, um, PSG. I decided to not do Dortmund because I haven't really seen that one just yet. The third kit, but Dortmund. Not Dortmund, but a PSG one. It's like a black, and it has, you know, Jordan. That's the, uh, what should I say, shirt sponsor for this kit. So black. I really do like black kits. There's, I feel like it will take, you have to do, you have to really mess up and do way too much if you can't make a black kit work. If, if I'm not excited about a black kit, then you've done something wrong here. And I do like it, though. I'm not necessarily going to put this in class, but I'll put it in good. I'll put it in good. Another black kit with something different. We have Real Madrid, okay? Full on black, but Adidas logo, the Emirates fly better, and, of course, the Real Madrid badge as well, all in yellow. I like this. This goes on sale. I'm going to need to get my hands on this. So this, 100%, we're going to be putting this in class. Yes, yes, yes. And then we have um, Atletico Madrid's kit. I believe this one hasn't, both this one and Barcelona hasn't really been um, released right now after filming this video. But it looks to be most likely that this is how it's going to be looking like. So for me, I. I mean, it's it's kind of like a turquoise green. Um, I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm noticing that a lot of the clubs are, are doing more of like a dark teal and like a turquoise, not just for the turquoise, but also for the away kids, if you have seen the video that I did then. But I want to say I'm going to put this in, in decent. In decent. It looks all right. I love the color, though. Well, like, I kind of wish it did a bit. I don't know. It looks all right. And then we have Barcelona. Once again, it's that damn thing here. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Um, and it just kind of also just looks like a, like a a little bit of a boring training kit if you look at the actual, I don't know, the, like the pattern. It just looks a bit underwhelming. So, meh. 
meh. So far, not ill, but meh. Moving on to uh, the Portuguese league, we have Benfica, all white with, you know, red stripes here. And then doing a little sun and sun thing at the bottom here. I'll say decent. It doesn't wow me, but decent. You know what does wow me? It's sporting Lisbon's kit. The third kit is paying an homage to Cristiano Ronaldo, okay? Um, with it basically being, instead of just, I think, I believe Nike is supposed to be the shirt sponsor, but it says CR7. Uh, so it's supposed to be like a, yeah, they're, they're paying a homage to Cristiano Ronaldo, who did play for Sporting Lisbon before he went to Man United, and the rest is history, of course. I love it. It's full on black, but it also is gold details like the sleeve. It's looking good. It's looking good, my friends. I like it. I want to get my hands on this for sure. We're putting this in class. I am very, look at me being very much of a, you know, in, in a super spirit. Am I being very kind today? Maybe I am. Either way, we're moving on to, um, this is Porto's kit. I like it. It's blue, like an interesting blue. And it has like some, like a gold-ish beige type of details. I really like it with the Batano logo. I'll put this in class. I mean, I, I think Porto also has done very well with the, their kits. I think I've rated all their kits very high. And then lastly, we are in the Serie A. We have Angola. I think AC Milan have done very, very well as well. Another club that I have rated a lot of their kits for sure. Um, I mean, it's a part of the ops. I mean, a lot of you guys know I am an Inter fan. We'll talk about Inter's kit in a minute. but. This one here, I, I, I have to say, I'm not necessarily a fan of pink, but it's it works. It's kind of like a pink that's leaning a bit more purple. It's, it's full on ombre. If this wasn't an AC Milan kit, this was, you know, not a part. As I am an Inter fan, I couldn't buy I can't sit there and buy AC Milan kit. That wouldn't be right. That would not be right. But it is beautiful. If I was an AC Milan fan, I would probably say, Fam, let me get this. So I'm going to put this in class. And then we have Inter's kit. It hasn't been released yet, but it looks to be that it would be looking like something like this. Obviously, the digital bits, I believe, that 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 is an old shirt sponsor. Right now, they have Paramount Plus. So I don't know exactly how that would look like, but I believe this particular orange kit is supposed to be like paying an homage to an older retro kit uh, from several years ago. But... If this is going to, you know, be somewhat of how it's going to look like, then for me, I'm going to be happy. And I probably will be like, let me get this one on sale, Habibi. Why not? So we're going to put this in class for sure. And then we have Juve kit. Um, just black, full on black uh, with white sleeves. It looks, I think it looks, it looks nice. I wouldn't necessarily say class. But I do think this looks very nice. Um, definitely way better than the home kit. Um, and also, I did feel like the away kit look, looked a little bit underwhelming. But this one, I'll say good for sure. 100%. So, guys, that's going to be that for yet another ranking of football kits. I hope you guys like this video. I really enjoy filming them myself it takes a little bit longer of course editing it but i do like it and i just i'm a lover of football kids and it doesn't matter which club you support which club i support i'm gonna be very much unbiased because i just am looking at whether or not i think the kids are something that looks nice if they look underwhelming i'm gonna keep it 100 doesn't matter if it's club that i support we're going to be very, very much objective and just looking at what I like. So that's that. But I do want to hear your thoughts as well. Do you agree with some of my picks or do you completely disagree? I will be doing more ranking videos for sure of Football Kids, rating Football Kids. So definitely do check out the full playlist that I've done and see if, if there's any ones that you've missed. Either way, like the video and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Selfie out. Bye-bye.